Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it was a difference of, of 5,000 from what I last sent you. So that'll be covered. That should be covered. Awesome. Yeah. Did you find the one here? Here, but all right good morning everybody it is december 15th budget adoption day Woohoo! uh 2021 9 01 a.m we will open a special meeting uh, that we had posted um and also had tabled our public hearing from yesterday's uh posted meeting on december 14th for budget adoption um sorry it wasn't posted for budget adoption it was our budget hearing um, and so we are going to open our public hearing now and welcome any input and questions from the public. Uh, the board is sitting here in our commissioner's room with the county clerk, finance manager, county manager, human services director, and we have Patrick from the Herald, the reporter from the Herald. And that is all. Um, good morning, Marla. We have Marla Acreage on Zoom. And... We are the only participants there. Marla, um, at this time, do you have any um, comments for us as public? I just want to say thanks for public? our financial Hold support. On. Yeah, Can thanks you? for our, our financial support for the LLC EDC. And just want to verify that the numbers are at $140,500. But we appreciate the support that the Board of Commissioners in the county gives to the, to the EDC here. Great. Thanks, Marla. Um, I think we'll get, maybe we want to get into any questions on specific numbers and we'll note that um, for the small conversation later with us. But thank you. Um, a little bit of an outline as uh, we kind of discussed a bit yesterday um, in prepping and um, needing to take a little bit more time to get some numbers finalized through the day yesterday. but. Today, typically we read through our budget message, um, which I think there are a couple of things that we still uh, haven't included in summarizing and including some great work and planning uh, that we've been really tackling through this year. So we might make some additions um, on that revisions as we go through. Um, commissioners, would you like to start there in reading through the drafted budget message? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Um, maybe we can uh, take some turns, but I will start. Uh, I will start. All right, 2022 Lake County budget message. If you don't mind, can I take this down some? The 2022 Lake County budget has been prepared by the Lake County budget officer under the direction of the Board of Lake County Commissioners as required by Colorado budget law. CRS 29-1-103-1-E. Pursuant to CRS 29-1-102-2, the modified accrual basis of accounting is used by Lake County. Under the modified accrual basis of accounting, revenues are recognized when susceptible to accrual. Expenditures are recorded when the related fund liability is incurred. The 2022 budget has been prepared pursuant to CRS 29-1-103-2 and is in conformance with law, Colorado law. As required by state statute, the major features in the budget are included in this budget message. Um, and also, I'm not sure any of these numbers following down the last, I'm not sure. I think those change with the um, numbers Crystal has for the final. Do you, do you have a email or a file pull up I to help? help? Can I have your copy right there? This is your final all right. Um, all right, moving forward. The Board of County Commissioners will increase the mill levy to 41.999 to capture all allowable property tax revenues for the continuation of essential services and projects, including the Justice Center project. Lake County strives to set a fiscally responsible budget, overestimating expenditures and underestimating revenues. The 2022 budget accruals are estimated to come in with approximately 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll reread that sentence. The 2022 budget actuals are estimated to come in with approximately 12,142,420 in the general fund balance. Mm -hmm. This is a significant improvement from the conservative estimate set for the 2020 and 2021. Do we want that sentence in there? Can we leave that? Okay. okay. The 20. 22 budget shows an estimated um, 4.1 million over. It should be 2.9 million over for expenditures over revenues with a total projected general fund balance of, is that that first number? Yeah. General fund balance of $12,142,420 and a total balance across funds estimated at $21,559,635. And the total balance across funds estimated at $21,559,635. The county has experienced significant growth in the residential valuation in 2021, signifying an exponential growth within the community. Exponential growth of development, or, sorry, I'm gonna just get nitpicky as we, okay. Growth in value, growth in value within the community. I thought that was a little, just slightly open-ended. Okay, health insurance premiums for Lake County will see a 3% increase. The county will continue to contribute 75%. Of health care premiums for all eligible employees. The county has also restructured its retirement benefits. Salary structures and bans have been carefully considered to allow Lake County government to recruit and retain employees competitively while working within our modest revenues. The county will again partner with economic and community development entities with the following contributions. Let the Lake County Economic Corpor Development Corporation at we have 110 in here, and Marla brought that up, the request of 140, um, with vacancies in the way that we've put some of those or moved our numbers right now in our line items. What are we, what are we, I don't know that we talked about this specifically. No, I don't think that we did. Where do we, do we want to do the 140, or do we want to be a little more conservative and then move with or respond to the next like iteration of planning. Um, so your thoughts? I think with uh, the organizational structure, I think you can see potentially changing. I would I would feel comfortable with the one forty. Um, okay. Because I think that they were really moving towards implementing that marketing strategy that we had all talked about with Dallas when we did that in our strategy. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that movement in that progression will be to how we do Okay. So, so that increases additional work, not just sort of salary increases. So, right. Yeah, okay. Then with that, I feel comfortable on that. Um, Marla, please stop me if you feel like I'm sharing too much. Um, Marla had ac actually made a recommendation that. Um, Marla had actually made a recommendation that um, the salary for the executive director could potentially be dropped to allow that funding to be leveraged and utilized um, more appropriately within the organization. So Marla, I don't know if you want to share that or if I said that correctly. Yeah, you did, com com Commissioner. The, the the plan moving forward in the new executive committee meets on Friday is to bring in a consultant and look at a model of elevating Leadville with the partnerships of more than one or multiple organizations and spread the salary out to several different staff um, so that there'll be a, a equal amount of work that will be divided. So the plan is to start this Friday and and hopefully first quarter of next year, some initiatives through the Elevate Leadville model can be initiated. Okay. 
And I think I think uh, Marla, if I'd like, I'd like to add that that elevate level and some of that community development across the organizations like the Chamber, the Tourism Panel, and Main Streets and the EDC to really figure out uh, kind of an efficiency in roles and responsibilities and and kind of stepping back to look at the foundation of the community and building up um, a lot of those relationships and necessary um, entities so that then we can continue to move forward and attract the economic development um, that's needed, but we're also raising the community development and, and a priority for yeah. our, our community members. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Increasing the, yeah, increasing the value in the community before adding the wealth to the community. Um, and, and really what, what we're looking at doing with the executive committee is um, understanding the roles and responsibilities of all of those ancillary groups so that there's not overlay or overstepping or duplication of efforts and services provided. And so that will be the bulk of the work going into the first quarter of 2022. Okay. Great. Exactly. I agree with my colleagues. I'm comfortable with that. And I really do appreciate that kind of um, philosophy and approach. And I think that there's a lot of um, organizations in town that are uh, feeling the same thing and kind of coming to the similar con conclusion. Um, all right. All right. Can I just real fast, Marla, um, just wanted to say thank you on behalf of the board for the um, investment you made in our community and for the work that you've done in our community. We will miss you. And um, we were very lucky and fortunate to have you when we did because I don't think that we would have been able to build relationships through COVID without you here. So thank you very much for, for all you did for us. We appreciate you. Absolutely. You'll still get Friday homework. No worries. I'm still sending Friday homework. <laughs> All right. Yes. Thank you, Marla. All right. Okay. Continuing with the list of contributions. Um, that first was the EDC, and we all have that at one hundred and forty thousand dollars contribution. Uh, Lake County Community Fund at forty thousand. Cloud City Conservation Center or C four at forty thousand. The Advocates of Lake County has been awarded County Cares funding by the BOCC in the amount, in the amount of twenty five thousand. Thank you. And uh, it was only given. Okay. Um, let's say what? Oh, I was just gonna. So you mean delete the rest of the sentence at the twenty five thousand? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Okay. Um, applications were requested to include financial, oops, financial information of how county contributions will be leveraged to continue long-term planning for economic and community development in Lake County. <clears throat> Lake County will continue with the pass-through dollars to St. Vincent's General Hospital District to fund the EMS and ambulance service for the county, for the voters, from the voters' decision in 2015 election. A message from the assessor's office. Lake County is an, is an increasing real estate market and it continues to climb. We are seeing historic prices paid for real estate in Lake County. Mm -hmm. With the increasing market, property values will also continue to trend upward as the assessor's office uses market sales to set values for all properties. The office has set new values in 2021. All property taxpayers should expect an increase in the property value because of the upward market trends set by arm length sales. Um, and, yeah. um, so the assessor's office has set values using the statutory data collection period. Um, is what it should say. July 15, 2018 to June 30th, 2021. For your 2021, or June 30th, 2020, and then your 2021 notice evaluation. Um, okay. 
Uh, what which other you want me to remove that last sentence? So the the timing of the market is already talking about. Yeah. No, I think that that's kind of critical to leave in there. Um, the trending of the market data collection period informed us of the increase of, of value. Mm -hmm. It should say residential. Value. Where would you like? To uh, so right after the the trending of the market through the data collection period informed us of the increase of value in residential growth. Okay. That surpassed the commercial decrease that may have been experienced in the COVID pandemic. In 2019, the Board of County Commissioners, okay, do we want to include this here? This was a, a mention in 2020 for the Eagle View software. Yeah, and I think that we added in there that they conducted a subsequent flight in the summer of 2021, which will be used as comparable, begin the, the training of comparable data. Okay. In 2019, the Board of County Commissioners approved and con contracted with a new program called Eagle View for the Assessor's Office. This program will give the office aerial imagery of all of Lake County. The company did their first flight in October 2020 and subsequent flight and subsequent flight in summer of 2021. We are excited to use the program in lieu of in-person property inspections as a method to keep our staff and taxpayers safe while COVID-19 cases are on the rise in Lake County, as well as an increase in efficiencies in the work done in the office. As increased efficiencies as Sorry, in the work done in the office. This will give us real time data, data to compare property cards to for the most accurate assessment of each property. The assessor's office now has four full time appraisers on staff to assist with the increase in property to value and increase in on staff to assist with the increase in property to value. Sorry, what's wrong with this sentence? <laughs> You can, put, you can put sales in there, property sales to value. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to assist with the increase in property sales to value properties. Um, as, the increase, as well as the increase or to as well as um, managing the increased complexity of the TIF area located within the LURA. The office has never seen the kind of activity we are now seeing. So just to, you want to say increase in property sales volume? Yeah, you can do that. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, with our full staff, the office will be able to more accurately and equitably sorry, apologies here. Uh, da, 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 da. Capture mm -hmm. valuation. Mm -hmm. Need to delete the thing that you can remember that last sentence. Last line to be able to. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Urban Renewal Authority Tax Equipment Financing. The Leadville Urban Renewal Authority, or LORA, extends from the new Leadville Rail Yard development annexed into the city of Leadville South through the retail core along Harrison Avenue. The purpose of the plan area is to allocate any incremental revenue increases in tax dollars from new value in the URA plan area boundary and apply these dollars to a fund intended to be leveraged to support projects approved by the LORA board. Anything to add there? Okay. Um, the following are budget highlights and commentary on several of the funds maintained by the county. General fund. 
Um, and I will say that um, in going through this the other day, I think that housing and our engagement with SCED is definitely missing from here. So let's be sure to add that somewhere. Yeah. Um, the general fund continues to provide funding for the general operations within the county. Some of those departments that are funded by the general fund include commissioners, clerk and recorder, treasurer, assessor, sheriff, recreation, building and land use, library, finance, and veteran services. Maintaining and upgrading the aging infrastructure continues to be a priority by the board. In 2022, the Justice Center project will come into full swing. In late 2021, the board entered into an agreement for purchase of property that was owned, uh, owned by Union Pacific at the end of Harrison Avenue at the southern end. Sorry. Once the sale, contract, and agreement are executed, the newly acquired 11 acre parcel, I think it was 11 acres. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I yeah. 12 and I think it actually was. Yeah, it, it might be 12 with all those other little parts and pieces. Right, yeah. It's the one that we're, yeah. Okay. The one that we'll use for the site. I think we've been talking about 11. Um, but the 11 acre parcel will provide adequate space for the new community justice center. The county has heard many times over the last, many times over in the last several years that the development of the new justice center is in need to reduce the risk the county incurs through outdated facilities. Parallel to the design and construction of the new justice center that will provide more accessible county services, the county will undergo backfilling, backfill planning of the current courthouse space and determine necessary upgrades for long-term use. The county has seen continued investments from DOLA and the underfunded courts fund for the continuation of the project. Let's just say for the projects. Community and regional partners and stakeholders continue to be at the table, um, building relationships and contributing towards toward an optim Sorry. toward an optimal project design to meet the needs of our community. Uh, the county was able to fill the manager role in 2021 and looks forward to continued implementation of organizational change um, to promote continue in here as a lot or is yeah. in here a lot. <laughs> um, uh, looks forward to organizational teams to promote a positive culture internally and increase efficiency of county work and functions. The county has received grant funding from the Department of Local Affairs to split this cost, the cost of, of the position of county manager over the next three years. The position will greatly assist in capacity and proper operations of the county and was highlighted as a need through COVID-19 response and recovery. Um, the transfer out of the general fund include zero materials to cover from. Okay, then we can just do this here. And then I include the return to the grants. Okay. Okay. Um, 25.5 to search and rescue. 35,000 for the rec replacement fund. And then 70,000 to the one for Okay. Just quickly, like on that question. So the, uh, the purchase and sale agreement says uh, 12 acres. It does. Okay. You were right. <laughs> it is the 12 with all those. Oh, with all those. 12.27. Thank you. Yeah. But if he says 12.27 plus or minus. Plus or minus. <laughs> so you could have been right too. <laughs> We want to add before we, so we just, that was kind of the general fund capture, and then we go into specific department highlights. Do you want to add anything in here? Yeah, I think in between the paragraphs of um, upgrading infrastructure and county management, I think we can put an additional paragraph in there. Partnered with the city through the TA initiative to hire a housing director. Okay, the, the county has partnered with the city. Sorry. Let's say the community. Um, let's do a, just a 
some high high level sentence on housing pressure. Uh, um, the county continues to experience increased pressure on outside markets for affordable and diverse housing. Result of the successful passage of today. The city and county will partner on the implementation of the housing directive. The county is partnered. To um, pursue a number of projects. First, um, including the Highland Director. Um, Just in a general, like you know, conduct planning work because it's not so obvious. Those are funds. Bridge Fund. Road and Bridge will continue to provide road maintenance and improvements to the county's approximately 360 million miles of documented roads, as well as continue to provide maintenance and service to other county departments with vehicles and equipment. This department operates under revenues generated by taxation outside local property taxes, i.e. highway user tax fund, specific ownership tax, and payment in lieu of taxes. The Public Works Department has been restructured to include grounds, maintenance, and facility services. Airport Fund. Renovation runway project was completed in 2020, and the airport has seen a steady increase in traffic with full general aviation operations resuming. The Airport Advisory Board, the EDC, and the BOCC continue to work closely with regional partners to develop strategic marketing and promotional plans to increase the healthy utilization of the airport in, in the region. The next step in the planning process is to start reevaluation of the master plan and capital improvement plan. Anything else to put in there? Okay. Landfill fund. The county continues to plan for cell expansion of the landfill. In 2021, the board approved the fee increase with the rate of inflation to continue to cover costs of state expansion regulations. The recycling program demand continues to grow through the community and the drop-off sites are utilized fully. Public Works received a grant from the complete for the complete replacement cost of a roll-off truck purchased in 2021. The process of recycling, however, is challenging across the nation and the county will continue to adjust its activities to meet national and global trends. The county is considering partnering with local entities for the utilization of such tools as a wood chipper or the purchase of an air burner to support in support of the wildfire and neighborhood mitigation efforts that have started in 2021 through the amendment of the existing Community Wildfire Protection Plan, CWPP. Potential sales of wood chips for other uses such as landscaping and composting will continue to drive green initiatives in the county and generate revenues. 
Lake County Office of Emergency Management. The Office of Emergency Management will continue to provide consistent support for the county and city in Oh, sorry. Support for the county and city um, by providing hands on training and accountability for effective and efficient all hazards response. In 2022, emergency management will continue to focus on COVID 19 response and recovery with partnering local, state, and federal agencies. Emergency management will also focus on community outreach and planning, utilizing the county's amended community wildfire protection plan scheduled for completion in the first quarter of 2022. Wildfire has been prominent on a national and statewide level, resulting from such impacts as incre increased visitation, climate change, and unhealthy forests. The county should be poised to leverage partnerships and increase available federal, state, and regional funding to implement the ground mitigation efforts over the next several years. Mission, the mission of the Lake County Office of Emergency Management is to coordinate Lake County and the city of Leadville's efforts to prevent, protect, mitigate, respond, and recover from all hazard events and assist with regional, regional state and federal emergencies and disasters. Uh, anything to add or change in there? Okay. Lodging tax fund. The lodging tax fund is advised by the tourism panel. The panel is comprised of a community of community members and a county commissioner that are active in utilizing the professional services of marketing consultants for social media and advertising in the tourism industry of the county. Lodging tax revenue through 2021 increased despite the continuation of the COVID-19 pandemic. But the city's successful passion passage of the 2A ballot measure, the tourism panel should realize the continued revenue stream of 1.9% lodging tax across the county, across the county. As we see an increase in visitation, uh, the panel and the BOCC strive to create systems that maintain the product that is Lake County, prioritizing the preservation of our community members' quality of life. There will be continued and increased collaboration with the tourism panel and the EDC to align with goals and objectives of each group. The fund balance remains healthy going into 2022. Capital Acquisition Fund, the most significant line item earmarked in this fund. Do, 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 do. Is it still, we, do we have an earmark? Sorry, this is, we might wanna, we definitely wanna revise this. Perhaps Kayla on the fire station too. What fund is that? I think what, she still rolled the money over. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, yep. Oh, okay, great. Yep. All right, so that is accurate. 1.2 million. Is that what's in there? Less than that, right? We can look at that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's 346. What does that sound like? Fire station? Yeah. The most significant line item we marked in this fund is for the construction of fire station 2. You can probably take that out because it's probably not the most significant anymore. Okay. I'm, I'm not, to, I mean, now that like walls are up and yeah, yeah, and it's like that, like it's, um, we're through, yeah. we're through, yeah. yeah, yeah, well through the project. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The leases for the fleet vehicles and the equipment at public works is probably more significant than. Okay, so do we want do we have we want to capture that the lease the lease leases for the equipment and new all right I'll erase that so those first two three sentences um say included in the capital acquisition fund is the lease. Um, 
sure. Okay, so I'll just I'll I'll just leave this one sentence in there that was at the end of it that captures all that solar array. Any other edits you want to do? No, no. Releases for the solar panel array leased for the compactor and loader and sheriff's office vehicles mm -hmm. are included in the fund for 2022. Okay. So grant fund. There are several revolving projects within the grant fund that are essential to the services and operations of the county. This fund stands to account for the reimbursable costs associated with each, with each grant managed by the county. Some of these projects include the Office of Emergency Management and Community Wildfire Protection Plan, Lake County Link through Summit Stage Transit and Get Outdoors Leadville for Goal, as well as Justice Center Development Projects, Fire Station 2 and the Airport Industrial Park Development. Is that accurate? No. Should we pull that out? Yep. Okay. Um, Get Outdoors Leadville has been awarded funding from GOCO. Um, state funds for operational expenses over the next five years. Is it five years? This is the same. We could also just take that sentence out. Yeah. Take it out. Perfect. Yeah, take it out. Okay. Um, public health agency fund. The Lake County Public Health Agency continues to navigate um, and help lead the county in responding to the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic. Local, state, and federal agencies continue to partner through an ever-changing landscape. Together with the BOCC, the public health director remains involved in state level communications and decision making. With state and federal support through CARES Act funding, public health continues to navigate needed staffing and services, including but not limited to contact tracing, inspection, and other demands through response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Lake County Public Health Agency continues to provide services and immunizations, family planning, and clinics to the community as a, at a reduced cost. Some of these costs are recouped through the private insurance contracts that the department has been able to obtain. Uh, Get Outdoors Leadville and Senior Center Services are housed under public health. Currently, the Lake County Public Health Department administers the following services, environmental health, vital statistics, EPSDT, Early and Periodic Screening, Diagnostic and Treatment, MCH, Maternal and Child Health, Immunizations, Family Planning, Emergency Preparedness, Child Fatality, and COVID-19 Response. Blood Lead Monitoring Fund. With no major expenses in the fund balance, the, with no major expenses, the fund balance has been utilized to absorb the costs for prior years, the blood lead testing and possible remediation of children for children, families, and homes in the community will be continued for the coming year and are a valuable resource to our community. Okay. Department of Human Services. The largest expenditure of the human services budget continues to be the non cash food assistance. Mm -hmm. Current still, okay. The portion of the mill levy dedicated to this fund has remained the same for 2022. Is that accurate? Yes. Okay. State reimbursements remained constant and uh, constitutes 85% of the human services budget in Lake County. Our focus on prevention services for families has resulted in fewer out of home placements of children and successful preservation of safe families. This results in cost savings across multiple systems. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, DHS adopted a new model of remote operations in alignment with similar structures implemented across the state. The department will continue some remote work for supervisors to lessen their operational footprint, but will have staff available for Medicaid and public assistance applications. The department will also look to pilot new programs with staff available in other community locations 
in other community locations to assist with enrollment into state and federal programs such as Medicaid, EBT, and Colorado Works. Um, I'll say alternative community locations mm -hmm. so that it doesn't sound like it's outside the community. Yeah. The board will continue to earmark funds in 2022 within the Department of Human Services fund balance to support child care development in the community. Yes, we had fund, funded some in 2021 and those will just continue to follow. Okay. Do we want to um, just give a little kudos and say with, with this partnership, Bright Start has been able to open its doors or something like um, that? Yeah, I think you can. Um, Bright Start has been able to open um, with funding from DHS and support from DHS. And the Child Care Coalition has been able to um, creating a program, program for recruitment and retention of child care. Say that again. With this partnership, the local, the local provider Bright Start has reopened its doors, mm -hmm. and um, or uh, yeah, and I think you can just say and the Child Care Coalition. has been able to implement programs Sorry. Um. based on the goals developed Okay. Okay. Um, what's the number then that we're going to get on for the mine closure? Um, so the mine closure will have an allocation of two hundred thirty-eight thousand one hundred ninety-six dollars. Wait, should that be twenty-two or, or is that? Yes. Thank you. Which will bring the fund balance to three million two hundred twenty-four thousand. Ooh. Okay. Uh, all right. Mine closure fund in 2022, the county will allocate $338,196 to the fund, bringing the balance to $3,224,039. This fund continues to be an asset to the county and provides financial assurance for basic county services to be offered in the future for the event of a rapid decline in valuation and climax. Climax eventually closes. We understand the projected closure date of Climax Mine to be 2038 and continue to communicate with Climax often as COVID 19 impacts operations and projections. So we just take off the COVID piece. Or... I think you can move it because okay. the, the market is still responding to the COVID. Okay. All right, next is insurance fund. The county is set to experience a 3% increase of health insurance premium costs for 2022. The county also pays for casualty and property pool and liability insurance out of the insurance fund, which will experience a slight increase. Mm -hmm. Okay, the slight increase in mills to this fund is due to the increases in workers' compensation and building liability. I think it's actually, be, it actually decreased more nice you can just bring it back. Okay. Okay. All right. We are 
is done, guys. Services provided and supported by Lake County government in fiscal year 2022 continue to include, but are not limited to, county commissioners, county manager, clerk and recorder, elections, treasurer, assessor, sheriff, jail, coroner, finance, human resources, information technology, recreation, maintenance, public parks and facilities, aquatic center, economic development, I raised aquatic center, um, community development, building and land use, mapping, district attorney, streets, street lights, fire department, public library, senior services, veteran services, am, animal control, shelter, road and bridge, public health, human services, airport, blood lead monitoring, landfill, landfill closure fund, ambulance services, search and rescue, E911 emergency telephone, public Wi-Fi, and grant management. All right, Lake County assessed value in the 2022 budget, the Lake County 2022 net total assessed valuation is assessed at a value of $264,198. did you say? Mm -hmm. Which is an increase from the 2021 valuation. Uh, yes, go for it, please. Two hundred twenty-two million seven hundred forty-nine thousand six hundred fifty-eight dollars. The next. So there is a small typo. Go back on that one. Thank you. Twenty-one, right? Oh, yes, thanks. Okay. The net general fund property tax is seven million. We do. Sorry, what's the last three? 160 of the 2021 assessed values? Uh, 2021 or 2022? 2021. It was 222,749,650. Yep. Okay. All right. Go for that number now. Which one? The general fund property tax revenue increase. Uh, 7 million. Yep. Tax revenue generation for 20. What did you put in there for 2.5? 2.5. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then, Krista, do you do we have do we have the um also? Yeah, so the general fund will have 33.75. Good. Human services will have point nine six five. Um, Woodland will experience three point three two zero. Um, Top Act will have two point five three million. Insurance will have point five four zero. Okay. Great. So that's our middle of each table. Um, we have the last four years uh, and then in, include the current year, the upcoming year. Um, so as Kayla read out, the mill levies, the levies um, applied for the general fund will be 33.175. Human services will be 0.965. Insurance will be 0 0.500. Capital acquisition will be 2.539. Mine closure will be 1.5. And the ambulance will be 3.320. For a total assessed mills of 41.999. Um, the Board of Commissioners has no authority to make decisions or set mill levies for any other governmental district. County government is separate from the other separate, sorry, the other special districts in Lake County, including Lake County R1 School District, 
Colorado Mountain College, City of Leadville, St. Vincent's Hospital, Leadville Sanitation District, Sylvan Lakes Metro District, Parkville Water District, Brooklyn Heights Metro District, Mountain View Village Water and Sanitation, and Alta Colorado Metro District 1 through 5. And other than the final statement of approval, which has not happened yet, is there anything that we need to go back through? Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll, yep, I'll open that up and we have had nobody else join us in the room, but we have had another member of public join us on Zoom. Um, so I'll open up for one more opportunity um, for public comment to the budget. Sure, Patty. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. All right. Uh, nothing from Jane or Marla. The hands raised. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll entertain a motion to close the uh, public in proportion, I suppose, of the public hearing. I'd like to close the public hearing. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? No, thank you. Okay. Good All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And at 9:52, we'll close the public uh, hearing. And now for final adoption, sorry, the public and proportion for hearing. Um, and for a motion, fantastic, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, I think just quickly before I read the resolution, I just wanted to say thank you to um, Crystal for her hard work. Absolutely. Um, for keeping us updated as much as possible as things have, have come up and changed um, and working through all of those little nuances with that new software system to make sure that things look right. We're really thankful for you and for the, the hard work that you put in. It definitely shows through the products that we have in this and stuff in it. So um, you've done a really great job and we definitely appreciate you a lot. Thanks, um, Kristen. And thanks, Kim and Hannah, for jumping in here. <laughs> and learning through trial by fire. We appreciate you both. Well. So, okay. Uh, this is, uh, I'll make a motion to approve resolution 21 17, annual appropriation and budget adoption and resolution for the fiscal year 2022. Um, be it resolved that the various sums set forth in the budget marked and identified as Exhibit A, Lake County Government 2022 final budget B, and the same hereby are appropriated to the various funds for the purposes stated therein and such budget is effective. Passed and adopted at a special meeting of the Board of County Commissioners this 15th day of December 2021. Have a second? Yeah, second. All right. um, I would just like to add for discussion, you know, we've worked really hard over the last couple of years to look at that strategic planning and priority um, Kind of shifting to priority based budgeting and um, really having like everybody and all departments and offices playing into a bigger strategic uh, vision um, in, in planning for the financial health of the community as well as just the increasing services um, and addressing, you know, gaps and um, emergent needs um, or lingering and needs that have not really been well planned for or 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 yeah addressed before or at a level that is is a uh, pretty important <laughs> so um, I really look forward to working with our new county manager um, and our other uh, staff and partners in our elected offices as well um, along with my board members for the next um, few years to really tackle some of these ambitious projects um, and programming that will, will make a big impact on the community, for the community. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, thanks for saying that. I think we're doing a good job of balancing between catching up 
um, sort of deferred issues, tackling emerging issues like housing costs, and also taking care of our own sort of staff and internal operations. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's yeah. like a good balance. Yeah. Thank you. Any other discussion? Any more discussion? All right. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Excellent. Okay. Well done. Thank you. If everyone. you want to um, give Crystal a fi final version of the budget message or send it, print it out, somebody print out a clean copy and we'll put it with us and get it to Patty for recording. Okay. Perfect. I will I'll erase uh, the comments on the side and I will. <laughs> I think I think we went through that pretty thoroughly, so I don't think there are any other changes. But if you might just take one more read over and double check for us, that'd be fantastic. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. All right. We'll have that posted uh, or available for you in the clerk's office and the finance department and the website and the website. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, so I don't think there's any other business and at 9.56, we will close our meeting. Thank you very much. Thanks,